an era of radical transformation, the 20th century, where the fabrics of mental health care was rewoven with threads of groundbreaking insights and sometimes controversial experimentation. Welcome back, my fellow nurses and curious minds. It is me, Martin, your Danish male nurse, ready to embark with you on a profound exploration of the 20th century psychiatric care. A time where the confluence of psychoanalysis, medication and daring experiments sought to unlock the enigma of the human mind. In the bustling intellectual saloons of Vienna, Freud's couch became the emblem of introspection. Psychotherapy sessions where words were the scalpel and conversation the operating table aimed to dissect the layers of the psyche. Amidst this psychoanalytical favor, others sought to transform the mind through biology. The advent of electroconvulsive therapy, first known as electroshock therapy, promised a reset of the troubled mind, sending currents through the neural pathways in a procedure as dramatic as it was diverse. But the quest to understand didn't stop at the brain's electric impulses. It soared into the realm of the consciousness with the advent of psychedelic research. In Denmark, as elsewhere, the 1950s and 60s saw a wave of interest in the potential of LSD to treat various psychiatric conditions. It was a time of optimism, where researchers like Dr. Rack believed that LSD could offer a window into the mind, possibly unlocking the secrets of disorders like schizophrenia. The patients under control conditions were administered doses of LSD leading to profound experiences that sometimes mirrored their psychological conditions. These sessions were methodically documented, contributing valuable insights into the nature and consciousness and the architecture of mental illnesses. Yet the tides of perception were turning. What began as a scientific curiosity eventually met the societal concern. The countercultural movement of the 1960s embraced LSD in a way that showed its medical potential leading to its prohibition and the stalling of therapeutic research for decades. Simultaneously, the field of psychopharmacology began. The synthesis of medications like lithium for bipolar disorder and the development of antidepressants providing new, more socially accepted avenues for treatment. As we reflect on these chapters of psychiatric history, from Freudian theories to Danish LSD experiments, we witness a tapestry of human ingenuity and complexity. These stories are not just medical records. They are chronicles of our relentless pursuit to understand the human condition.